Oh. What's up, folks? Today is a super, super special day because today I got the text that my new car is on the way and it's officially an hour, actually, because the driver texted me about 35 minutes ago and said it'd be one hour, so it will literally be here any minute. This has been a super long journey for me and I'm so excited to have it here today. Uh, honestly, it's a very an incredible feeling to be able to own such a cool car, uh, which if you clicked on this link, you might know what car it is. So if you're new to the channel, I typically post sim racing content. Uh, this is my dedicated sim racing room. Uh, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna make this car a part of the channel or probably just stick to sim racing for now. Uh, but really the purpose of this video is to kind of memorialize this has this been really a lifelong dream for me? Uh, if you're into sim racing or cars in general, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you know, we'll see what kind of cool content we can put out there. All right, folks, enough talking. Let's get this thing delivered. Let's get it off the truck and see what it looks like. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, it's like a kid on Christmas morning. Let's do it. Oh, this is your car. This is my car. Yeah your car yes <laughs> oh my goodness she's here she has arrived time to get her out of the truck It is absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh. Oh, it looks so good. She's home. What do you think, Hal? What do you think, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you're gonna park yours in there now, the old switch? No. <laughs> I mean, this thing is just too good. I'm so excited. All right, we got her in the driveway. We got her off the truck and Oh my, I'm just still in shock. I'm still in absolute shock. So just a quick walk through, walk around, I should say. I mean, everything looks great. It looks like it was probably rained on at some point between the time it got conditioned at the dealership and the time of delivery, uh, which is no big deal. It's probably due for a little cleaning, but overall, I mean, it just looks absolutely stunning. I'm so happy. Thank you so much, Mario. If you ever watch this, salesman at Porsche North Houston. Uh, you absolutely killed it. Thank you so much for an incredible, incredible experience. All right, so let's talk about the car a little bit. Uh, so again, this is a 2019, and there is about 12,000 miles on the car. Um, so they still offered it as a certified car, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to jump in now, because I'm not sure how much longer that's gonna be offered. Uh, and being that this is kind of my first like sports slash supercar, whichever category you want to put it in, uh, you know, having that peace of mind of knowing that it's certified and basically covered kind of bumper to bumper, all powertrain. If anything goes wrong with it, obviously this is not a, a cheap car to fix. So uh, having that was, was definitely some peace of mind. So again, all that to say that I think that it's really cool that they're offering these cars, uh, the model year 2019 GT3 RSs still as certified cars. I think it's a testament to what I've heard about these things and the research I did leading up to this purchase was that they're bomb proof. You know, they're they're pretty pretty reliable. They're meant to be driven hard. They're meant to be tracked. I mean, this thing was tested on the Nürburgring and ran a sub sub, sub seven minute time. So, uh, you know, that being its kind of foundation for testing and what Porsche was trying to accomplish, they knew that it had to be, you know, a pretty rugged uh, and durable machine. So. All that to say, uh, I'm glad that it has a certified warranty, but again, it wasn't like a must have for me. Again, it was kind of more of the icing on the cake for this specific car that, that it had it. All right, so running through the spec of the car, it's GT Silver with a few slight uh, enhancements or uh, modifications to it. It does have an exhaust system on it. It is a catback exhaust, so it's not overkill by any means. It's just enough to kind of make it sound a little bit better without going, you know, full 
you know, Formula One style, you know, screaming loud at 9,000 9, RPM. Actually, we haven't had it at 9,000 RPM yet, so I might uh, stand corrected on that. But the exhaust, kind of the biggest thing that's been changed on the car. The rest of the changes to the car are purely, you know, slight cosmetic modifications. First thing that stood out to me, and I'm pretty sure this is a modification, are these little red, um, red dots there. I think those clean the windshield. They pop up and like spray the, uh, not the windshield, the headlights there. Uh, and the big thing that a lot of Porsche people look for in these cars is yellow brakes. And that's because yellow is indicative of the Porsche carbon ceramics. Uh, this car has the Porsche uh, carbon ceramic brakes, uh, but one of the owners, somewhere along the way, I'm not sure when, they powder coated the calipers to red, which red is usually indicative of steels. I was kind of either way on which I preferred uh, going into this process, but the fact that this has uh, carbon ceramics, you know, it seems to be the more desirable uh, option. I see positives and negatives to both, but yes, Porsche carbon ceramics with red uh, powder coated calipers. Pretty cool touch there. The car is full PPF wrapped, so even the roof. And then the final change is the spoiler. So at some point the spoiler was changed to black. Um, it was vinyl wrapped and uh, it was originally silver. So, all right, so that's kind of a quick summary of the exterior. Uh, kind of peek at the exhaust here. We'll do a start up here in a second, but really can't tell much of a difference than the stock version to my understanding except a little bit of bluing of the titanium on the right side uh somewhat of a clue that it is an aftermarket system um so yeah the exterior that's a wrap um pretty much that's everything is not too much to cover the last thing i will say about the exterior of these cars in general is that you know photos and videos just to me i know this is going to sound cliche but it just doesn't do it justice i mean this silver really pops. Uh, you know, I know a lot of people tend to flock more towards the, the wild colors like the Miami blue, the lizard green, and I, I love those colors. I really, really do. I almost bought a lizard green car very recently um, uh, and a Miami blue car I very strongly considered at some point. Um, but the silver really does just suit the car extremely well. Um, you know, it's a more a more standout car, a louder car. You've got the big wing, so I think uh, the slightly muted color and the silver, the GT silver, uh, really does the car um, a lot of good. So I love the silver. I've always loved it. Um, and yeah, that's the last thing I'll add is that you know once you see these cars in person, uh, you know it's just pictures and videos. It just doesn't doesn't communicate how special this car's presence is. And I've always felt that way about Porsches in general, but especially this uh, this 991.2 3RS, so incredible. Enough talking, let's fire this puppy up. So that's gonna be it for the delivery portion of the car. I've always loved watching people take deliveries of their dream cars. I've been watching them for years. And so it's super cool to be able to make one of these officially with, with my own car. Um, I'm still just in shock. I mean, this is incredible. Um, it's super hot out here. <laughs> uh, it's the middle of summer right now in Tennessee. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go drive the car a little bit. So if you're into cars, again, if you're into Zim racing, hit that subscribe button, my name's Hi. Uh, and this is my YouTube channel, High Speed One, and this is the latest addition to it. So, thanks for watching, folks.